Hey everybody, what's going on? Just wanted to make a, a new video today. Uh, today I just wanted to talk more a little bit about the Democratic Party race in the United States for the 2024 Democratic primary uh, presidential candidate. Um, so right now we still have no debates as of yet, which is not surprising. Uh, I don't know if they even will. I don't think they'll let uh, Joe Biden debate RFK Jr. I don't think it'd be a good idea for obvious reasons. Um, now, JFK Jr. has been doing a really good job kind of going around doing basically a podcast tour of guys with like uh, Dave Smith and Breaking Points, et cetera, et cetera. Although the Breaking Points interview kind of went south at the end, um, he's still kind of making his rounds, going out, getting the word out, getting his message out, letting people know why they should be voting for him over Biden and then eventually over Trump. Um, now, hopefully, he gets on to Joe Rogan's podcast within the next year and a half just so he can kind of you know, get his opinion and his voice and his message out to even more viewers. I believe Rogan gets like 12 million views per episode. So uh, that would be the best platform. Now, I don't know if he's going to do that now or later, if they have anything worked out or maybe they don't, but I would assume that Joe Rogan would want to help someone like that. Uh, hopefully he does. And that would be, uh, that would be great news. Um, you know, a lot of people, I don't know if it's a lot of people, but some people are certainly uh, a little bit upset with RFK Jr. just because of his, uh, skeptics on a certain, we can't really talk about this on YouTube, you know, a certain medication that he's a little bit uh, skeptical about. And, you know, but to be fair, he's just asking questions and he's had many, many doctors involved in his studies. And he's spoken to, like, I believe it was 350 doctors before he's made any statements. Uh, he then published a book about it with all their findings. And um, I haven't read it yet, but I've heard it's uh, very interesting. I'm definitely going to have a look. Um, he also has another book. Um, I believe it's called The Real uh, Anthony Fauci, which kind of exposes, um, you know, his lies and his corruptions. Um, now, in terms of Joe Biden, um, you know, he's just, he just he hasn't been good at all. Um, the, he hasn't really done anything except for the few tax cuts, uh, tax cuts that were basically signed off on as uh, executive orders, which were kind of nice little tax breaks for single moms and whatnot. It was good. But ever since then, it's it's been a disaster. I mean, he's ending a new war. He's very divisive, just like Trump uh, Trump was. And there's ridiculous inflation numbers. Now, I know that some people will are going to make the argument, and it's a good argument, that a lot of this inflation is caused by greed and price gouging. Um, and that's true. Uh, that's definitely true. A lot of corporations have even been caught, and I'm sure there's a lot more doing it that haven't been caught yet. Now, that being said, if they're doing that under under his under his leadership, then why doesn't he do anything to stop it? Not only does he not do anything to stop it, he doesn't talk about it. And he certainly isn't mentioning about anything about passing a law saying that corporations can't be price gouging, because obviously that's that's not capitalism, that's immoral capitalism. I do think they can make some laws, uh, put some laws in place, have it pass through the house just to make sure that that crap doesn't happen yet they don't even talk about it. JFK Jr. is going to talk about it. He's going to talk about everything, and that's why one of the many reasons why he's uh, such a great candidate. Because um, any of these other candidates, they won't stop price gouging. You know why? Because it pisses off their rich buddies. And they can't do that, right? Because otherwise they lose the donations, they lose the funding, they'll get smeared in the media, etc., etc., etc. So they got to play politics just to keep people happy. RFK Jr. is not really like that, and that's why uh, I think that not only would he win, a vote. Um, I think he would absolutely annihilate Joe Biden. But like I said before, they're going to do everything they can to stop that from happening. The DNC corporation is basically what they are. They're going to do whatever they can to make sure that uh, Joe Biden remains the nominee. And it's very likely that we could see a rematch of 2020, which who wants to see that, right? Like nobody wants to see that. I guess the debates will be kind of funny, but kind of over it like i'd much rather see rfk jr versus trump because those debates would actually be really not just funny but really good and i think that rfk jr would just absolutely i mean he would he would annihilate both of them in a debate even if they debated them all at once which wouldn't happen but even if that were to happen if he ran as an independent i uh, you know he, he was gonna he would destroy both of them very very easily um so yeah, I mean, I know that there's some people who still like Joe Biden. There's some people, for some reason, there's some people who think that a lot of the things he did were good. 
But I think that's just a lot of what they're hearing on the media and they're protecting it. So I think that a lot of what they're hearing isn't even true. Um, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Let me know. I did put a poll out in the in the uh, community section too um, of who you would like to see be the president. And the three options are RFK Jr., Joe Biden, and uh, Donald Trump. So please have a look at that and definitely vote, comment, like, and uh, again, please subscribe. That would be very, um, very helpful to grow the channel and help get my channel pushed through the algorithms. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll be back shortly. Take care.